Jonah chapter 2, verses 7 through 8. When my life was ebbing away, I remembered to you, Lord, and my prayer rose to you, to your holy temple. Those cling to worthless idols turn away from God's love for them. Stuck. Have you ever been stuck like Jonah? Not quite say, Rick, no, I've never been stuck inside the belly of a whale, but I may have, may have been stuck in relationships, maybe stuck in a place in life, just feel completely stuck. And for Jonah, he was stuck inside the belly of a whale with whale juice guts just swishing all around him. He couldn't leave and he couldn't die. He was just stuck. And as for us, for readers, we have the privilege of flipping the page and know that he doesn't stay there. He stayed there three long days, but he in, eventually he leaves. But Jonah, he doesn't know that. All he knows is what's completely surrounding him inside the belly of this whale. And it looks terrible. But another way we can see this is that this was a time to where Jonah's heart began to come closer to God. And in his perceived last moments of his life where it talks about in, his, in this verse, where his life is ebbing away, the thoughts that were value to him was God and God's relationship he has with him. But little did Jonah know that God was going to deliver him out of this stuck situation of being in this belly of this well. But Jonah, what I see was already being delivered in his mind. When you're stuck, what do you see? Do you focus on the well guts of, of what surrounds you, of problems and poor situations, the guts of financial hardships, the, the guts of broken relationships, the, the guts of poor health, the, the guts of injustice, the guts of racism, or are you focusing on God and focusing on God's grace and God's mercy and God's justice in God's kingdom. For Jonah, that was a comfort to get him out of this situation. And I believe that God wants that for you as well, to not just focus on the well guts, but to focus on him and God will lead you through. Amen.